Hello everyone, welcome to my unboxing of the Hornby Eurostar, the Beatles edition. So I got this in the mail a couple days ago, I had had my eyes on it for a long time however, I wanted the train pack version however, but that sold out, so I had to get the whole train set, but I don't really mind, I have the whole thing anyway. And yeah, so let's get into this, let's open it up, and let's see what we get with this beautiful Eurostar train. Inside the box you get quite a few different things. So you would notice we have a DC controller and quite a few pieces of track. This makes a basic little loop, but it also does have a point. So it does have quite a bit if you are starting out anyway. It also has a track mat as well and a little buffer. And I had also opened this box just after I got it. So this isn't the first time I opened it. So everything might be a little jumbled around, but everything is here. So you're now seeing the locomotive. This is the driving unit at the top and we have its carriages and its dummy unit at the back. So I'm gonna take these out, get them on the track and show them off to you. So here is the main driving unit on the track, number 3005. Before we start, I must say that I have actually run this locomotive in and I have put an eight pin DCC chip in it. It only needs one chip, however, because it doesn't have any lights. So it only needs one for the driving units. So keep that in mind when you're looking at it, the train set on its own will be DCC ready. So here we start with the driving unit and it's finely printed artwork on the side. It says once upon a time and it kind of represents starting the journey along the whole train as you look at all the different artwork. You would notice the bogies aren't too detailed, they seem to be a single molded piece of plastic, but nonetheless they do have some fine detail and they aren't really the center point of the locomotive anyway. You would also notice the fine red line across the top of the locomotive. It is very clean and done very well. Not that it is the biggest section of the locomotive, but it is very noticeable alongside the artwork. Now we are on the other side of the DMU. You'll notice it says all together now in a huge font. And then I'm guessing it says that in a lot of different languages around it, but it is a very fun different side of the DMU. Very contrasting colors as well. So the whole locomotive looks very vibrant and really just crazy to be fair. Down this end of the locomotive we see the Fab Four in front of, I genuinely have no idea, some trippy cool artwork, but it is nice having the beautiful faces on the front of a lovely Eurostar. On the top of the driving car you can see these two little pantographs. They do fold up but they don't actually work. You can see there is some nicely molded detail on the roof, these little silver panels, and again you can see the lovely red lining. At the front, you can see a small Beatles logo, probably one of my favorite features of the whole model. And you'll notice there is a spot for lights, but it doesn't actually have working lights. As we move to the carriages, you'll see it says Eleanor Rigby, and it has a photo of what I believe is the Liverpool Town Hall with the live bird at the top. So these carriages just have heaps of references to different Beatles songs and just different references to their, I guess, journey. Here we see the middle section where the two carriages snap together. And you can see John, Paul, George, and Ringo smiling from the windows. So it is a nice little section of the locomotive. Over here we have some weird creatures, which I am guessing they're from the actual Yellow Submarine film. So now onto the other side of the two carriages. You can see a black and white dotty little artwork here with the beetles and some creatures jumping out the dots. I really love this artwork. I think it's probably the best out of any of the carriages. Here in the other side of the middle section, we see Hey Bulldog and a few more weird pieces of graphical art with the beetles hiding behind what looks like a funky looking bush. And then the carriages end off with this little all you need is love artwork with the four beetles hanging out being bros. So that brings us to the end of these two carriages and we'll get onto the dummy unit before we get this thing moving. So this is the dummy unit. You can see this weird looking ghoul thing and the four beetles in the middle with the yellow submarine on the far left. Here is a close-up of the Yellow Submarine. It is very identifiable and it is beautifully done. As soon as you see it, you can tell this is obviously a Beatles locomotive. And then you have the four in the middle doing a little dance. On the other side, we have a Lucy in the Sky with diamonds print. It is all in pink with, I think, John Lennon in the middle looking kind of psychotic there. But this is, again, a beautiful side as well. So that wraps up looking at the artwork and the detail of the locomotive. Let's get this running and let's look at its performance and see how well it runs. So it has been running already, so keep that in mind. But from what I've noticed, it wasn't too smooth of a runner on DC. It was quite shaky and actually very loud on DC. But once I made a DCC, it was a lot more quiet and it ran a little bit better. 
but still you get what you pay for and it runs very well for the cost of the locomotive anyway. So let's send it around and have a look at the art and the whole train as it runs around my little track. So in review, the Eurostar is fantastic, the artwork on this model is amazing and the price for it too is very good. I only paid 250 Australian roughly and that was only $50 more than the actual train pack. So for $50 more than the train pack alone, I got the whole train set which comes with the track and the controller and everything else for $50. So the price was great, it runs well, it looks great and especially if you are a Beatles fan like me. I just could not stop myself from getting it and I know that if you do enjoy the Beatles and their music you will enjoy this train too. So guys leave a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you next time.